Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start things off today by talking with Elisa Bishop Beckard. Now, she is a professional counselor who specializes in grief and loss. She's recently released a book on that subject. We'll be discussing it more this morning. Elisa is a nationally recognized expert in the field of grief and loss and much of the reason why she's an expert in this field is because she has experienced tragic loss firsthand. She'll be sharing that story with us as well this morning. Elisa, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you <laughs> for having me, Jenna. It's a pleasure. Well, it's a pleasure having you here. Elisa, when did your personal grief journey begin? Um, I started experiencing losses in 1993. I believe the first one was my grandfather, um, which is a, a fairly common loss among people, so it didn't affect me that, that much, that uh, traumatically. But then I experienced the loss of my home, my job. Um, we moved to my husband and I moved to Williamsburg, Virginia, and two weeks after we moved there, my daughter died in uh, um, an automobile collision with a drunk driver who was going the wrong way on the highway. Um, three months after that, my father died. And so it was one thing after another after another until my life was unrecognizable to me. Those are five major losses right. that you just talked about. Mm -hmm. Five losses that no one should have to go through either. So right. what was your attitude like? You just said that your life, it, it wasn't recognizable to you. Mm -hmm. How exactly. did you change this into a positive experience? Well, of course, uh, at first I felt there was nothing. Mm -hmm. There was no, um, there was no future. But then I realized I couldn't live in the past because there was nothing there anymore. Mm -hmm. And in order to go on, I had to find something that would um, make meaning of my loss. Uh, I, I think you find meaning when you can say to yourself, I would never have chosen these things to happen, ever, in a million years. And given the choice, I would want all those people back in my life. But I would never have had this experience or this learning or this wisdom or this ability to help other people if it hadn't have, mm -hmm. had been mm -hmm. for those losses. So uh, at the time, I was living five minutes away from the College of William and Mary, which had a very famous counseling program. Mm -hmm. And I was a member of a congregation where my husband was the minister, Unitarian Universalist congregation. And one of the members of the congregation was the person who had started the program. And I really think that one of the keys to healing, especially in the beginning when you just can't see a future, mm -hmm. is to be open enough to pay attention to what's around you, mm -hmm. to what opportunities are there, to what's available, because it feels like everything's gone. But if you can, through that, pain and, 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 and uh, trauma and, and sense of emptiness, pay attention to what is there, not only what isn't there, mm -hmm. because most people focus, especially in the beginning, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. of course, on what isn't there, but if you can pay attention to what is there, then that can be the key. Well, yeah. it doesn't make sense why something <clears throat> like this has to happen, but you have the attitude that there was a purpose behind it, and now right. you can use that purpose to help others. Right. Let's focus on your book for one second. When yes. did this book come yeah. about? Loss and Growth, The Grief Spiral. Right. Um, it, I actually um, I say I'm an overnight success. It took me 13 years to write <laughs> it. Um, 
yeah i started it just as i was finishing just as i was graduating from my counseling program in two thousand one mm -hmm. or two thousand and then in two thousand one i really started working uh, uh, focusing on it and it is everything i know everything i've learned about the process um, about the th about theories of of grief and loss it's um, written on a level that it can be helpful for a professional and also for someone who is grieving so um, i taught a i taught a course on it in uh, 2007 at the college which was really very helpful because it allowed me to see that it could i had students who were both professionals and people who were grieving uh, a recent loss and I saw that what I was able to um, teach them was helpful on all levels which <laughs> was really gratifying for me oh absolutely you I already know you are helping so many people oh, and okay. and just being able to share your experience that's helping them because you're so strong you've gotten through all of this and and turned it into something pretty amazing well, that is one of the, you know, people's, people um, don't often realize how important it is just to be someone who's experienced something like this and has gone through it, has lived through it, has survived it. Because sometimes when, uh, when you have traumatic loss, you really don't know how you're going to get through it, how you're going to even survive. And to, so to see someone mm -hmm. Who is, who who has been there, done that, and is okay? Yeah, right, right. Can and can sit with you mm -hmm. and listen mm -hmm. and understand and not judge mm -hmm. um, is such a gift. And mm -hmm. so anyone who's had, who's experienced a loss and has dealt with their issues around it and has come at least a little bit way forward has that ability to just to be able to sit with somebody and not to run from the kind of pain that they're experiencing because it because it brings up their own pain right. and and that's such a gift it is absolutely well we are running out of time right oh. now elisa <laughs> but thank you so much for being on if anybody mm -hmm. wants a copy of your book they can get it on absolutely amazing ebooks.com we'll be having you back on in the future to talk a little bit more deeper into this subject of grief and loss Thank Stay you. with me, there's more to come.